running a full marathon. Something that I wasn't even sure if I can put this on my bucket list. If you would have asked me a year ago, then I would have said there is no chance for me to run 42 kilometers. Ah. I can feel my knee, it's painful to run. This is the toughest item that I'm trying to take off my bucket list. All right, well, I only got three weeks left until the marathon. Honestly, I'm not training how I should. I started properly training like six weeks ago, which is definitely not enough. And I'm not really serious with the training plan that I have. <sighs> so today we got another long run. 26 kilometer is what the plan says. I'm not really in the mood for that many kilometers today. So I think I'm just going for 15 for now and then I'll see how I feel and then maybe I do another 10 or 11. So I got 26. That's definitely one of the hardest bucket list goals I've ever trained for. Three weeks left, let's see how we feel. It's quite beautiful. That definitely makes a big difference if the weather is nice and the sun is out. I believe there are two things that you require to be able to run a marathon. First of all, are you physically able to run 42 kilometers? And secondly, are you mentally able to run 42 kilometers? Physically, yeah, of course, you need to train a lot. But mentally, like how are you able to run for four or even five hours without any break? Like you get crazy, you get into this mode of like, what am I doing? I'm just running. All right, 21 kilometers. I definitely fell into this flow state where I was just running and kind of forgot what I'm doing. But hell yeah, 21K, half marathon. I believe I can be really proud of myself, like even just accomplishing a half marathon after running for two years. Progress is going, it's going, going well. And marathon, it will be tough. It will be a tough challenge, but it's a good challenge. <laughs> Another important part of my training was talking to experienced people who can give me some advice. All right, two and a half weeks left. I'm in Vienna and I'm doing a middle long run. I'm a beautiful southport today and I'm doing a fast run. <laughs> ah. Ah, interval is a bit long run here in Paris. Ah, 10k today. Don't really know what's going on. I've always got this pain on the side of my chest. This, uh, yeah, I don't know the English word for it. Seitenstechen. Keeps me up from going faster, which is kind of annoying. One week left until the marathon, and this is my last long run. Keep going strong, feeling feeling good. I think that's gonna be a good training run, which will make me ready for Sunday. Wow, 29k, longest run I've done in my entire life. Well, so we're just doing a really low recovery run today because my legs still feel quite tired from the 29k I've done last Monday. So, definitely gonna go slow today. Yeah, I can feel my knee a little bit from, uh, from last Monday's run. Might have been a little bit too much impact. But yeah, I'm trying to keep going now. Yeah, so even though it's a low impact run, I could still feel my knee. It's first day today and I got three more days to rest, which hopefully will be enough that I don't feel my knee during the marathon. Uh, it kind of sucks. It takes down the motivation a lot just by being injured or by feeling not 100% uh, prepared. <sighs> So far, 
this is definitely the toughest item that I'm trying to take off my bucket list. Like if you think about that I only started running two years ago and even back then when I started three kilometers was a long distance, like it was really hard to do. So it would have never ever crossed my mind to one day run a marathon or let alone have this goal of completing a full marathon. But here I am, I will run a full marathon this coming Sunday. You know, I created this bucket list with 100 things to show that it's okay to have those big goals, to have dreams where others might think they're impossible for you to achieve. I really hope that by making this video I can inspire some of you to go after your bucket list as well. Like even if you think something is not possible at first, if you take the first step it becomes more and more doable and you will struggle that's for sure. And by accomplishing the marathon this coming Sunday I want to prove you that even something that felt impossible is possible. Wow, this is bonkers. So much going on, it's crazy. Pass by at home. Kilometer 18. I'm uh, feeling great. <coughs> Alright, people start to split up. Marathon on the left, half marathon on the right. It's kind of good because people are going out of the way, so there's more room to run. Okay, half time. So my current pace is at 6.15 which I'm quite happy about because it's quite consistent and if I can keep going like this I should hit my goal of running the full marathon in four and a half hours. Yeah, hey, thank you for the energy. Good fast, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Ciao. 26k. Ah, thank you. So everything from now on is longer than I've ever run my entire life. <laughs> Kilometer 32, 10k left. Anna, go, just us. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Kilometer 35, that's insane. Can't believe it, I made it that far already. So, seven kilometers left to go. Wow, I've been running for four hours straight. That's insane. <laughs> Kilometer 40, two more to go. Here I am, about to complete full marathon, even though I thought it's impossible to do that, like not even one year ago. This is to every one of you who doesn't believe in themselves. If you start taking the first step, you will notice that you're capable of doing so much more than you believe. You're capable of achieving the dreams. You're capable of achieving what you want. Just take the first step and start going. I've done it, completed the full marathon. Oh, it's unbelievable. I've done it. Another item off the list. 